Hi everybody, this is Candy with Custom Queen Designs and I am here today to show you how I do my wood grain. Um, I'm still new to wood grain. This purple coffee mug right here was the very first wood grain that I've ever done. I just did this a couple years ago. Days ago, years ago. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry you guys. A couple of days ago. I haven't even been doing this. About two this. days ago. I haven't even been doing this for a year yet, a couple of years ago. But um, this is the first wood grain that I've ever done. It came out pretty good. I'm very, very satisfied with it. Even kind of tried to do the bottom a little bit. And the handle. Mm -hmm. That was hard. And then this was my second one. And I, I don't, I didn't think that the knots were good, but I've been getting feedback that the knots on these are pretty good. So I just wanted to show you guys what I do in order to get the wood grain look and the knots. And I like doing it with color. I know wood is, is like a brownish, you know, light brownish color, but I don't know. I like stained wood. So I'm doing stained wood. Tonight I'm gonna be working on this 30 ounce. I have a decal put on it. Hold this up. And I'm going to wood grain it and pull the decal. And you'll see what's underneath. Copy, copy. So tonight I'm going to be using this Marabou alcohol ink. It's magenta. I got this from Mr. Nola's Glitters. Um, the cup that I have is a 30 inch um, modern curve stainless steel. This was from Hog Outfitters Stainless Steel Depot. Um, good cups, good deals. And trusty makeup brush that I kind of hijacked from my daughter because I don't wear makeup. <laughs> but she gave it to me. So this is what I do my wood grains with. I've had somebody in a group, I believe, on Facebook that said use a makeup brush. I had tried using um, regular paint brushes and it didn't work the way I wanted it to. You have a little bit more control with the makeup brush, so I'll show you guys how I do that. And then later on, I'm gonna attempt to do a wine glass. Hope oh, that works out. So just a little heads up, this process is a little drawn out. It's not anything quick. So we'll, we're gonna be doing some pausing and, and coming back at certain steps as she's making progress. Guys, ready to go? So, this was how I I watched a couple of lives and everything. This is what I've learned on what you do with the wood grains. You start it off, and you a line of alcohol ink, and you take your brush, and I'm not going really heavy with it. Like you're going with a light pressure? Yeah, a medium to light pressure. And there's your first stroke, if you can look and see the lines in it. Let me see if I can get the focus a little better. Yep. And that's what I'm gonna be doing, so I'll be going to the next one. Same thing. Another line. I'll let her do one more line after this, and then I'm gonna hit pause and come back when she's got more progress, okay guys? I'm saying okay, like they can hear, like I can hear them. <laughs> sure, Rory, thanks. And make sure you have something underneath you on the table or wherever you're working because. Some drippage. It's gonna be some splash, and I splashed it right into my alcohol, but that's okay. All right, well, when I hit pause, I can set you up with some fresh alcohol because she kind of gives some of the ink in there. All right, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, and we just checking back in really quick so I can let you guys see the progress that she's making. She's come about halfway around the cup. Now, if you see this right here, 
some people have to, they, you know, they don't like the fact that you got to go down and put more alcohol in, but the thing is, I'll put some here, stop it there, and then just go to a certain point because it gives it a more woodsy look, in my opinion. Uh, some people go all the way down to the bottom and just go ahead and make another, you know, a whole nother stroke over again. It's basically what you choose and how you choose to do it, how long or how short you want your strokes to be. What you looking at me like that for? Because I don't like what I just said. <laughs> We're all yeah. adults here, right? Yeah, you know. Yeah. They know what I mean. Exactly. You know, you can always throw a little pause after you say it if you want, you know. Pause. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. And we're back, making more progress. Just about done now. Oh, about done with the first coverage. Because I'm going to go through and kind of close in some spots that I got open. And I just want you guys to see those little hard spots right there really not that big of a deal what I'll do is probably drop some alcohol ink and either come up this way or go down that way with it and it'll just like I said make it look like there's a spot in the wood that's mm -hmm. just, a little extra green or yeah, something like that yeah. yeah but that's about it but now I'm gonna get ready to go over and close some of these spots that I have in here open and then we can get to working on the knots Brush down for me. Yeah, just a little bit. You don't have to, but. I'm sorry, guys. I know I'm supposed to be moving around to let y'all really see what's, what's going on there. want some of that stuff like that right there, right? What I just did? Like, you see that part right there where, you, where the stroke stop? Yeah. 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 Okay. See the method to your madness? I go in sometimes and make it a little bit darker in certain spaces because wood isn't all the same color all the way around all the time. I don't know if you see on this cup like where you where you can see the darker mm -hmm. the darker spots that's mm -hmm. because I just mm -hmm. went over it over and over again to get it a little bit darker
Just wanted to share a little, break the silence a little bit, share a little news with you guys. Our grandson, he just made two years old today. Happy birthday, Elijah. Granddaddy loves you. Nana loves you too. And then about a week ago, now that I think about it, about a week ago, uh, my nephew, JR, he just had his second son. Telling you all our little happy yeah. family stuff that's going on. Yeah. You know, Uncle loves you, little guy. I got to talk to him this weekend because I don't even know the baby's name yet. <laughs> but Uncle loves you, little guy. Could say auntie and uncle up here. Well, auntie got a mouth. Y'all see how he does me? <laughs> and I'm so horrible. I You're let her, so I let her speak for herself. I'm so horrible. You're so rude. <laughs> you guys, he's not rude. He's the best in the world. All right. So I'm just gonna pause because I want to sit down for a sec. And we'll come back in a moment and, you know, she'll just... I'm just going to darken up some yeah. of these spots she's, and then I'll come back and we'll do the knot. Yeah, she's still going to be doing what she's doing right now. Okay, we're back. I got a chair. I'm feeling lazy tonight, y'all. But I still got good camera angles for you. Lighter spots and light light spots, yeah. I'm not trying to make it completely dark, but this is pink, so it's not going to be like super duper dark. Yeah. It'll look good that there'll be some darker spots too, because again, just like you did over there, it just makes it look more, you know, realistic that way. transparent. Right. Now give me just a second guys because I need to use my regular eye to take a look for I'm gonna do a knot so I was gonna say you got some kind of light I want to make it a there. little bit darker in this area because I think this is where I'm gonna do it. And you kind of light a little light a little bit up there too.
is it hard to make those dark lines come out? Not really. Just gotta keep moving the ink around. But I'm just trying to get just a little something on the bottom. It doesn't have to be as perfect as it is like around the edges mm -hmm. on the bottom. Well, at least for me. I'm still new to this, so I haven't come up with some grand technique. brush just to take away some of the color what I do and the reason why I have gloves on is because I'm gonna take my brush and squeeze it like this to make it a little bit kind of like a fan yeah just a little bit just so I can move up and down this way with it gotcha so we're gonna dip the tip and remember if you mess up it's not a big deal because you can always brush stroke back over it and do, and it, do again. it again Is this more delicate than the, the original the original stroke? Not really. the fact that you're not making it like a perfect oval either. Well, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. I had a little bit too much alcohol in my brush. To be honest with you, I, I can't. I'm not that skilled yet. To do what? To make it a perfect oval? Yeah. It shouldn't be a perfect oval, should it? Well, some people like to have it like that, but... See here, this is where I'm talking about where you mess up at, because I feel like I've messed up a little bit, so. Just gonna brush back over and start again, huh? This is my technique on, on how I make it so that I can fix my rings correctly. So, I push in a little bit more color. It around so I've got something to move around in there. People may say this is cheating. Oh well. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I'm just saying my team gets <laughs> accused of cheating all the time. So I figure, you know, why not? <laughs> I'm a huge Patriots fan, by the way. Mm, sorry for you. I'm sorry for you, you're a Giants fan. Even though you guys are beating the Eagles 17 to three right now. That's right, baby. All right, so. Gonna go back up. And then I'm gonna go back down. Now mind you, she's gonna do two more, so we there's plenty more for you one to more. see. What, why one more? I'm only doing one more knot. Why one more now? Because I don't wanna do two. These are hard.
Ain't you from Massachusetts? Don't you remember that Kennedy speech? We do things not because they're easy, but because they're hard. Why do you have to do the voice, though? <laughs> Why? You guys, this is so hard to me. I know you guys might not think this is hard when you do it, but... I need a I need a thinner brush. I need a brush that actually You need like a fan brush style out. makeup so, brush. Just keep in mind that I'm doing this with my with my makeup Basically brush. Basically a round a round tipped makeup brush. I'm sorry, I had to because I need to. It's okay, I understand. We understand. I'm still gonna do it in the same spot. Now it just uh, shoot. It looked like it's staged even better for a knot now. Sometimes. Good old soup coolers. <laughs> if you weren't my husband, I would fight you. Well, if you weren't my wife, you would lose. What? If you weren't my wife. I heard you. Wise guy. Special technique right there. Yeah, it's called the... It's called soup coolers. I'm going <laughs> to fight you. <laughs> she's doing that we'll take a pause and I'll be right back all right and we're back and she is still working this knot you guys knots are hard I don't care what anybody says don't let them fool you hard to save when do you see that around the edges out there I don't like that so yeah sorry you guys but this is the process <laughs>
that's a little wider now. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit more darker around the edge too. But it's a little bit open more in here for me to to work. Soup course. Mm. You just got all up in my <laughs> lips, aren't you? <laughs> you guys, he is he is just special tonight. While she's doing that. Remember this guy right here, guys? The old sprinkle dabberino? Yeah, drinking out of that ratch now. A little cranberry ginger ale. What is ratch? Candy, you grew up in North Carolina. Stop playing. Just and look at something else marvelously beautiful that she made. Now, me personally, and I told her, like, I wouldn't have dropped the glitter on this. I think what she's got going with those colors is absolutely awesome. But I'm not 100% against the glitter because it actually does kind of go and blend a little bit. But oh my goodness, could you imagine this even without the glitter? That's just sexy. Look at those colors, man. Mm. I'm going to get her to do a video for this technique soon for you guys. I'm, I'm going to personally request that she does it without the glitter. You guys can hit her up in the, in, in the comments for this wood grain video if you, know, if you agree with me that she should do it without the glitter. Or if maybe she, you, know, you guys like it with the glitter. Got to give you all what you want. But I'm definitely going to get her to try to do that again for y'all because that 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 right there the way the what was that alcohol ink or mica powder or what mica powder is an alcohol ink and acrylic oh so she got all three on there acrylic mica and alcohol ink and it looks i've never seen the colors look like that that she put on a, a cup glass just just absolutely gorgeous to me Anyway, let's see how this naughty knot is coming along. Oh, and I'm seeing it. Okay. All right, girl. I really need a smaller brush. But hey, considering that you make them do it, what you got? It's looking pretty, 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 uh, pretty good. That's my little... I'm not mad at this That's one. my Larry David, y'all. I'm not mad at this one. This one is actually... It seemed like having to go over it so many times, too. Like, it helped it get nice and dark down in here. And this looks like kind of realer to me. Yeah. I can live with this Boom. one. Boom! Let me see if I can get rid of that glare. So we can see it all. That's gorgeous. Oh yeah. So then the other one I said was gonna be right here. I'm gonna see if I can try to go a little bit wider this time. So that's different. I never seen you pull across before. Oh, and it's going to be on an angle too? Cool. Damn. I didn't, I didn't When's the last time I told you you were awesome, man? Just now. Just now? Well, before just now. Earlier today. Earlier today? All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> it, 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 you, you really are, and it really shouldn't be that long and far and in between when I do say it. Wow. That's going to look, that's going to be a funky knot. Of it. Get some more color going here. Always. We 
does. I cheat on my knots, so it's over yet. I'm a knot cheater. I do it knowingly and willingly. Alrighty. Give it a little squeeze. I don't need to squeeze that much. I'm sorry you guys, I gotta try to work with ankles best for me. Alcohol ain't get sticky, but you know. Just a second. Get out of the light, Rory. I gotta work on it some more. I don't, I'm not digging it. And I'm gonna pause just for a moment because this device is starting to heat up. Be right back. All right, and we're back. And she has been working this lower knot to death, but Persistence overcomes resistance. All right, I think that's about the most I'm gonna get from it. I, I tried. like it. I think it looks funky, I like it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go clean up around it and kinda try to blend it in. So... To kinda make it look like it flows into the knot? Is that what you mean? Yeah. cleaning the brush for because it's got too much in it and it started to get to the point where the no, but what, what are you cleaning the brush like you about to do something else with the brush N dude can you what? I'm, you? I'm cleaning the brush because the brush will have a tendency to have alcohol ink build up in it and it'll get sticky and hard for you to brush it across what you need to brush across um.
You see that right there? Can't have that. What? What? There. Is that bad? No. So, this is my second notch, you guys. It's not the best in the world, but it's not the worst. And I gotta clean this up. See that? Gotta fix it. There you go. There you go. Alrighty. There we go. Step is pulling the um, yeah, can you do that right now? Yes, without messing up your paint. Yes, so now she's gonna pull the decal carefully, gently. Told you this blue would be pretty. I told you, I told you, I told you. No, I keep your hands to it. Make it the camera boy. What did you say? So keep your hands to it. Make it the camera boy. All right. She got quite a couple of letters to pull here. I'm going to pause. We'll be right back. After she gets to be. All right, she's made some more progress. More letters here on the front, another one on the other side. We'll be back. And we're back. Sat on there a little too long. There's no acrylic. Um, um, that vinyl. Well, sat on there the same time as the other one, so. Why is that one so stubborn? Bigger piece. Mm-hmm. Look cool. Mm-hmm. All right, so. 
got this side done. Now we're gonna go and do this. All right, I'll be back. We're getting there. All right, we're back. And she's still peeling. Down to the last letter. soul don't stop when you're tired stop when you're done and the crown on a wood grain or a pink wood grain at that I like it pretty 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 good I like it. I wish I didn't have to cover up that teal because it was so pretty though. That but the way it's peeking out right now, it so, awesome. it's almost like a like a like a like a marquee. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like the the shimmer to that that see it all. It almost like glows like a neon marquee or something like that out of that pink. That's pretty cool. I didn't even think about it like that. It does kind of do that, doesn't it? I'm proud of this. You should be. I must say I am proud of it, but there you have it, you guys, right there. It's done, finally. Um, I'll probably do this wine glass uh, a little bit later and record that. I'll probably post it up a little bit later so you can see the wine glass. I've never done a wine glass before. And She's going to try to do wood grain on wood this grain, wine glass. But, hey, it's first time for everything because it was first time for this, so. Yep, 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 yep. yep. But, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time. Later, y'all. Go Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <laughs>